Good morning everyone. It is late, well actually early, in the morning of February the 4th, Monday. You think things are getting better as far as the economies go from what they pipe out on the boob tube? I don't. I think they can be artificially propped up and I believe that they are being. Just because you pay attention to the ticker and you read a bunch of articles being pumped out now that we hit the 14,000 mark again. Uh, you know there's a bunch of rich guys that pump a lot of money into the stocks. Buy and sell. Hold and dump. However it would be described. They're profit takers whenever the time is right. They dump it. So when you got the Warren Buffetts, the Bill Gates, this one's the that one's with that kind of cash they can infuse that into a market at any time they choose and it'll go up and then the average Joe like us sees it going up thinks it's time to get in we get in there and start making a little money and then the profit takers dump the market goes down the cycle repeats this is an article uh, from Friday. I don't know if you read it by Bill Flickenstein. It's a pretty good one. Uh, he goes on to say the collective worldwide equity rally soldiers on. Folks across the board once again have suspended their disbelief to conclude that all problems are solved or contained. Whether it's a deflation of Japan, which they're printing money over there and they believe that'll be cure to the problem or the mess in Europe to America's mess financial and monetary woes everything is deemed to be on demand you hear Obama saying things are getting better thus the money is being thrown at the stocks and the year started off well in the market with the major indices all running of notable up off <coughs> excuse me notable strings of up days it won't be long before, as he says, bubble vision, CNBC, uh, starts frothing at the mouth, getting all lathered up about the just right Goldilocks economy. And they've done it supposedly every period in the past 15 years when printing of money warped markets in the economy. A superficial analysis will indicate we're at a bit of a sweet spot, so the enthusiasm for the stock market continues to build. Along with higher equity prices, another bout of making people forget. You're thinking it's getting better, so you want you want to invest. You want to find a sweet spot to put your money in, so you can try and make money. Bond markets have not clubbed yet. Ten-year bonds keep making higher highs and lower lows in interest rates, and traded at their highest level since last spring, last week. Still not high enough to suit my liking, and, uh, and I even kind of understand what's going on. Bond market is lower now than it was when the latest round of quantitative easing began. And like that nice little word, quantitative, and then the follower, easing. Like, it's supposed to make you swallow it all. But it will still be some time before it truly disciplines the Federal Reserve by taking away the printing press, which will ultimately punish equities as well. Most investors currently are able to look past rising rates and shrug their shoulders and say, hey, rates are still really low and they're rising now because the economy is better and that too is a Goldilocks for you. Who needs gold? As for the precious metals, People continue to decide they don't need gold when equities are working and all the problems have been solved and they haven't been. But that's irrelevant at the moment. Contrarians should take note of the difference between the psychology towards stocks in general and mining stocks or metals. Opposite extremes. As far as metals, this man thinks he might take a stab at what's been ailed, at what has ailed gold for the past half year to a year. He concludes people decide they don't need metals. But for now, Europe appears to be on the mend. Appears because the Europeans' central bank 
President Mario Draghi. He's a criminal. Money printing and promises to do whatever it takes to have papered over the problems there. Sounds like here, huh? But they've not gone away. The structure of the Eurozone is unchanged and unemployment is enormous there as well. Yes, it is. So the fiscal and economic pressures remain quite high despite the current improved mood. And they don't do quantitative easing over there. Mm-mm. They do austerity measures. Here in America, there's so much angst over what really is not that big deal, namely concerns over the so-called fiscal cliff and the debt ceiling wrangling, of which your traitorous uh, Congress, Democrats and Republicans, the Republicans have just now sided with the Democrats and put off dealing with the economy and the debt ceiling and the debt until May and agreed with King Traitor, illegitimate Obama to allow him to borrow more money than the ceiling would allow. <clears throat> when we've been fooled. We're in a period where money printing has supported debt markets and boosted the stocks. None of the massively negative consequences from the flood of money has been seen leading many people to conclude that there won't be any which is wrong. There will be. No currency has been drastically weak because all G7 currencies are, are terrible, bad. Inflation hasn't really started screaming while people are willing to overlook what inflation exists for now. So at the moment, where the act of money printing no longer causes gold to move higher since it's boosting stock markets and lulling people to sleep. However, all the consequences are start staring us in the face and will soon start to matter. Just it's difficult to tell in advance when the madness of crowds will exhaust itself. As we saw during the equity and housing bubbles, it's difficult to say when the crowd is going to realize just because stocks are higher doesn't mean we're headed for a train wreck. Eventually the Fed will no longer be able to print its way past trouble. Not to mention the fact that inflation is certainly hit higher. So, you need to understand, like I've said before, 16.4 trillion, we're above that now, and we continue to climb. You cannot do this. It will not work. You cannot print your way out of anything. Uh, financial bad things are really coming. It may not seem like it, it may not feel like it, but you can see it. You start buying your things. These guys can change things in an instant, anytime they want. And uh, it, it kind of is like Lindsey Williams describes, forced debt. They really are going to force a lot of debt on us. The fact that they're going to start jacking things up here in a while. So if you can, try to put back as much as you can and prepare for stuff going up because that essentially means uh, your dollar is getting worth less too at the same time. Let's take a look at the latest earthquakes. We did have some action in Japan. Thank God that nobody was hurt. They claimed the nuclear reactor was safe where it occurred at and I uh, didn't hear any real damage. Oh, no, here lately we see in the fours, Washington in a two and a half, Alaska in a three one. We're going to fall back to the third. And we had some fives. There's the Isuzu's in Japan, five one and five three. Cali had a little one, Alaska a little one, three and a half in Alaska. Chile, which had some activity before, is at four seven on the third. Hello, Iran. He had a four and a half. Santa Cruz, four six. Ireland, New Ireland region, and Papua New Guinea, five oh five four, and a four eight. And a Bougainville region in Papua New Guinea, four seven four six. Santa Cruz, four seven. Banda, four six. Santa Cruz, five one. Kermadex, four seven. Fiji, four six. Santa Cruz, 5-1, Mariana Islands, 4-8. We're going to fall back into the second. As you see there, Hokkaido, Japan, 
and at 6-9. Santa Cruz 6. Santa Cruz had a lot of activity. 5-1-4-7-4-6-4-8. Chile 4-6. There's Santa Cruz again with a 5-1 and a 5-2. There's the Isuzu Islands in Japan with a 5.5. Austria 4.5. Greek, Greece, 4.8. Near Java, Indonesia, 4.5. Bandas, 4.5. Isuzu, Japan region, 4.8. Santa Cruz, 5.6. Santa Cruz, 4.9. Taiwan, 5.1. Hey, we made the board here. 2.8 here in Oklahoma. And we have the Sunda Strait in Indonesia, 5.1. Here we go back on the first. 6463 in Santa Cruz. And pretty much everything's in the fours back then. Yeah, 6 0 in Santa Cruz. We can go back to the. Yeah, that was the first there. We can go back to the 31st even. And that's when you had southeastern Alaska with the 6 0 on that day. And you also had a 6 2 in Santa Cruz there. Go back to the 30th Santa Cruz 6-0. There's your 6-8 in Chile. We'll be back on the 29th. Nothing real big then. We'll go back on the 28th, six foot Eastern Kazakhstan. And we will not forget that we had uh, what was a 7.7 in Alaska. So we have seen an uptick in red. And we need to uh, keep our eyes peeled because once you start getting the sevens and the sixes, it usually, from what I've been seeing, runs in cycles. <clears throat> so let's now take a look at something that troubles me. 55,772,015 abortions in America since Roe v. Wade. 55 million. Why? Why has there been 55 million poor little children who never got a chance to die? Also, you can say it's your body and your choice. Well, you've killed 55 million people. You should be proud of yourself. You think God's going to be happy about that? I don't. Better get ready. That's a high price to pay the man. And that's all I got to say about that. 55,772,015 deaths. All because people want to make their own decision. Well, you decided to kill. So, you'll have to pay the price. And then we're going to have our... Uh, we're going to have a nice little thing here. 2012 DA-14 is not going to be anything except a highlight. I firmly believe that. It is going to come, you know, closer than the satellites. Definitely closer than the moon. It's going to be probably pretty bright. Uh, you're going to be able to see it during the sunlight hours, of even. I do not believe it's going to hit anything, unless it runs into a piece of space junk. And even then, I don't believe that the piece of space junk is going to, you know, catapult off of the impact of it and fly down here and and uh, do any damage. Yeah, at least I hope not. It won't. Have to be a pretty big piece of space junk. This object being about half a football field I don't believe is big enough to really you know it's not going to shake the world to death if it were to impact something it would cause damage but we're going to be okay on that so don't be you know learn from what we've learned over time and use it we're going to be fine on 2012 DA 14 it's not time yet folks we're playing on God's time not man's time and the pieces are getting put in place, but it's not that time yet. I'll speak to you all soon. God bless.